today we're tracking Our Fire Still Burns songs. Um, probably just going to be working with one song today that's uh, going to be tracked and doing the video for a couple of reasons. Um, mostly to highlight some of the utility behind the Alesis DM10 kit um, and sort of show some of the flexibility as working as a MIDI controller with Superior Drummer as its, uh, as its sampling application. So I got my uh, computer here. I'm going to open up my project. Uh, I'll be using the Works Digital Audio Workstation Reaper today with Superior Drummer 2.0. And as you can see here, I've got things started a little bit. So as a, as a first, um, what the main complaint is about the kit is the native sounds on this uh, actual e-kit, as well as the actual acoustic noise that is made when this e-kit is played versus other e-kits, which are quite quite quiet. So to get started off, um, I'll sort of play around the kit here. I'm using a GoPro Hero 2 White Edition. So just a, you know, your low end, lowest end GoPro you got. And, uh, but it's going to pick up the sound quite, quite loudly. It doesn't have a lot of, um, a lot of the sound capabilities that the newer GoPros, the better GoPros have. But I'll play around here, you can sort of hear how loud it is. So we'll start with the kick. Pretty loud. Pretty loud. Uh, and I'll sort of stick around here, so... gives you an idea of how loud it is actually acoustically. Uh, cymbals are pretty quiet. Uh, drums pretty loud. Especially the snare. You want to keep the snare quite a bit tighter. You use mylar skins on the actual drum heads so you can really uh, get a sense of um, true feel of a drum set. Um, obviously you keep your snare a lot tighter than most other drums. I mean most people do anyways. Uh, so it sounds tighter, it's louder too. So, overall though, the cymbals are pretty quiet, just as loud as any other E kit for the cymbals. Um, important to mention that because you use actual skins on this electric drum set, you can actually switch out the skins that are on the set and go with a set of mesh skins. Um, they're not expensive at all they range I mean for these little ones they're like six to eight dollars for the larger one like the snare and the floor tom um, that comes in the new DM10 kit it's a larger floor tom uh, you're looking at about twelve dollars so overall to reskin the kit would be about fifty to sixty dollars you know you can get those from Remo or Aquarian or Evans uh, musician's friend, you could probably reskin the whole kit for about forty bucks. Not too bad. And then you're you're dealing with everything it's just as quiet as this, probably even quieter, uh, because it's a, a softer foam composite than the rubber sheeting that goes over the plastic symbols on the actual drums. Uh, with so converted to mesh, very quiet, easily as quiet as a Roland kit. Um, so now that we've got the uh, sort of acoustic stuff out of the way, um, we'll move on to um, the sounds that you can get out of it. Not sure how much I'm going to do with the actual native sounds of the drum set. Um, just because like they're, they're good, I guess I will add some of that on maybe later uh, <laughs> when I make the decision to. Or maybe I'll make a separate video for that. 
Um, but right now we're going to be working with mostly I'll patch in sound from the computer and we'll see how it sounds with Superior Driver. Uh, so I'll start doing some tracking. I use my probably the cheapest in-ear monitors you can get but amazing for what they do. The Shure in-ears so I have the the lowest level, the SE215s. Um, if you're thinking about getting in-ear monitors for any reason, you don't want to go to the ear molded ones um, where you have to go to an actual shop to get them done. I highly suggest getting these, they're about $100. Sound quality is excellent. Maybe more for the drummers out there than anyone else uh, for the frequency range that they deliver. But like you're not, they're not really geared for mixing or anything like that. They're not a true representation of sound. They've got a lot of low boost, but they sound absolutely incredible. Very, very good headphones.